in the last videos we covered how to read the multiple values in a single statement in a single input statement right sir now the next one evolve function evaluate evolve function we have to use uh, somewhere in the last videos while converting str type to boolean we used this one sir okay evolve evolve now i will explain a bit in detail most beautiful concept for you people right suppose here very very simple i have some string is there sir i want to convert to int type okay int of x i want to convert to float type float of x i want to convert to okay bool type bool of x something like bool of x okay like we have this this these many type casting functions are there sir now if we use a eval these many type casting functions are not required what the reason for that is this eval is going to evaluate this x is what type if it is the int type it is going to return int value if it is the float type it is going to return float value if it is the string type it will return string value if it is the list type it will return list value if it is the tuple it return tuple value so yes alternative to these many type casting functions happily we can use evolve function a single function which is the replacement of all type casting functions right sir what is the way how you can use sir very very simple here assume that x is equal to x is equal to if i use input of enter something enter enter something something like this i am taking sir enter something like now print of type of x print of type of x can you please confirm type of x is always what type str type because input function is always going to return string only str type only right but uh, based on your provided value i want to convert into the corresponding type automatically then what i have to take eval are you getting what i have to take eval instead of int float bool just uh, simply i am using eval if uh, your provided value is int type automatically converted to int sir if you were provided value is a float type automatically converted to float type now this x is a not str type always based on your provided value automatically the corresponding type by default will be considered beautiful function eval function sir observe carefully have a look once sir i'm taking here i'm i'm trying to take x is equal to input of input input a enter enter something enter enter something okay like sir print type of x print type of x what is the problem it's always going to return str type only i will look once very carefully sir here if you enter something then i'm taking sir it is always it is always str type only right okay now let me take 10.5 10.5 str only right but now my requirement here is i am trying to use eval eval observe that very very carefully about this one sir eval here just the this total input i am passing as the argument to eval okay now have a look once about this one sir here i am taking 10 what is the type int type int type but not str type if i am taking enter something 10.5 okay float type if i am taking true sir boolean type boolean type if i'm taking if i'm taking durga durga here str type are you getting if i'm taking observe that sir 10 comma 20 comma 30 10 20 30 20, within square brackets means what type list type within square bracket list type okay list if i can provide okay within parenthesis 10 comma 20 comma 30 what is the answer sir tuple type just i provided within here like sir what is this one <laughs> don't get confused what is this one this one is int type int type it is not single value tuple it is int type only okay now if i provide 10 comma single valued tuple comma is the mandatory then what types are it is the tuple type everyone in the position to understand clearly right
are you are you are you able to understand so eval function such type of beautiful functions are okay you provide any type automatically the corresponding type by default is going to be considered okay this is the speciality of eval function alternative to type casting we require to use a eval function right next uh, there is one more speciality is there for our eval function what is that is yes? if you provide expression expression it will evaluate that expression and the returns the result that is the biggest specialty sir now observe this one if i can take x is equal to evolve of evolve of okay 10 plus 20 plus 30 like this i am taking sir 10 plus 20 plus 30 print of x print of x 10 plus 20 plus 30 its value 60 directly you are going to get 60 internally it will be converted to what type sir internally it will be converted to what type sir here 60 60 it is the into type only have a look once observe carefully here i am taking x is equal to evolve of evolve evolve of 10 plus 20 plus 30 i am taking sir next uh, print of x print of x print of x sir comma type of x comma type of x both the things i am trying to print sir now observe this one 60 is the result and the type of x is what types are int type are you getting it is int type the total value 60 by default you are going to get sir not only this one not only not only this right suppose i have some some mathematical expression is there sir 10 plus 20 by by 3 by by 3 Ah, okay power 4 next and after that floor division 5 floor division 5 next into 40 something is there sir what is the result what is the result it is going to evaluate this total mathematical expression and it's going to provide the result sir now observe that it's going to provide the result is 10.0 sir class uh, what type of float type if you want you can evaluate the result is always 10.0 only 10.0 what types are float type like this right so this is the purpose of eval function most beautiful function alternative to typecasting function happily we can use eval to evaluate the provided input value and the converted to corresponding type automatically to evaluate expression and it's going to return the result clear right what is the purpose of eval function 